My name is Dio Vanders. Welcome back to Valheim. Today I'm going to be talking about the new update that came out today. Well, it's today for me, but it's going to be a few days later for you guys. So first thing, I'm going to go over some of the patch notes. So they have a new NPC, Hildur the Merchant. They have a few new locations, the Hildur's Camp. They have three dungeons, three new dungeons, a smoldering tomb, howling cavern, and sealed tower. And sealed tower is an open dungeon, and each of those dungeons has a new mini boss. And apparently there was world modifiers button that added to the start on the game screen. I haven't, I haven't seen what that is at all, so we're gonna check that out together for the first time. Unless you've already checked it out. They added in eight new fireworks, they added in a sparkle, they added in new, new clothing, ten hats and carves. Head scarves and 14 dresses and tunics. They also added in extensions for the Black Forge and Mage tables. So now you can get all your Mist Lands upgrade stuff to level 3 instead of 2 now. They have a barber kit, a barber station, an iron pit, a fire pit, 8 new hairstyles, 5 new beard styles, and 4 new music tracks. This here is Hildur. You can uh, look at the map table and to be able to see where there's all the new locations are added into once you find who will camp. You know, I'll also talk to her and she will sell you a whole bunch of stuff. And once you defeat one of the mini bosses and give her the one of the mini boss items at the chest, if you give it to them, inventory will increase. So you'll be able to buy more tunics and clothing. And if you're trying to find where Hildur is, there's a red ring around the map where she spawns in. Fire Spark said that it only spawns in the plains biome, but that might have been before they released the update, because mine is clearly in the meadows. In the Black Forest, you can find a smoldering tomb. It looks like this, it's not very much different from the other tombs. But on the inside, it's a little different, and there's a whole bunch of skeletons. Each of them have at least one star, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. And you can also find these ancient coffins. I just realized that if you pickaxe them, skeletons come out. And... Uh, the only, I guess this is the only one level, one, non one star skeleton that you can get in this base, place, place. And this is the, the boss, or the mini boss from this area, their name is Brianna. And they got pretty cool looking design, and I'm having issues killing them. So I'm gonna change over to the Mist Rock Wall, and I'm, I'm assuming because this is like a fire creature, it's gonna take extra damage from the Mist Rock Wall. And, I don't know, it might be. It's definitely taking some, like, spirit damage. And when you kill them, if this person would die, it drops a chest. And as well as a, uh, a trophy. A Brianna trophy. I think that looks quite cool. I might start using this trophy in some of my builds. And Hildur's brass chest weighs 200, which is a lot, and it can't be teleported. So that means you gotta walk all the way back. One winner later. And once you get back, you can give who the chest. Oh, it appears right you. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. And there was a whole bunch of uh, clothing in it. So you kill bosses to get clothing, or mini bosses, and it completely increases the all the everything in here. Well, I just got a simple blue tunic, and this is how it looks. I actually kind of like like how I could uh, have a tunic now. However, it only gives me one armor, which is not. Not the good for having a whole bunch of armor. And this is the next dungeon that can be found inside the mountain area. It's called the Howling Cavern. I quite like the idea of this dungeon because there's much more wolves inside of here. So, fen fen so you can do all the Fenris stuff a lot easier and the Fenris Claws. And in this dungeon there will be a whole bunch of ice stuff like this that you can mine out. And then go, go through the next part of the dungeon. There's also these like blue uh, campfire things. I wish I could have these inside my base so I can build with it but that's not currently a new building thing and this here is the new mini boss for this area it, the name is I'm gonna try to pronounce it Guhafa I think that's how you would pronounce it now I'm gonna kill this guy the sentence is death J just to get his chest this sword does not deal a lot of damage to this guy Maybe it's the wrong weapon to use against him or maybe it's just because this boss is supposed to be difficult see that's only dealing like 30 something damage well, that was 40. That one was 60. Well, I'm gonna pull out the crown and see how much more this one deals damage to him. This guy's got a lot of health, so maybe it's just that he has a lot of resistances. Yeah, I just did 260 damage to him, and his health barely went down. This guy definitely has more than 1,000 health. Probably more than two or 3,000 health. So yeah, these guys are not too shabby. So be careful if you try to kill them. So you can give Hildur the new, the new silver chest. Uh, it looks like it opens up. And there's more, more clothing all about. They're just popping up out of nowhere. Magically. 
Wow. Now I have a new cape tunic and as you can see, it simply just adds on a little cape to his back. This is the new Plains du Dungeon. This is the one that they said that was open. I really like this. I, ho I sure hope they eventually add in some of these for like building materials because I, I really like some more building materials. And I would probably like to turn this entire tower into a, a new tower that's even taller. But anyways, the way how you're supposed to get into here is you're literally supposed to build up to be able to get in into this place so you can get into like one of these entrances here. You don't have to enter exactly from the top if there's like a, a balcony over here. But then you walk in here and there's also um, some traps so if you walk over there you get hurt, potentially die depending on your armor, armor ranking. And they're all, they're, some of them are hidden and there's also these iron gates and you can mine them. You're gonna have to mine them to go through everywhere. And there's a whole bunch of goblins throughout the entire tower going up and down. But to be able to find the boss, you gotta go all, all the way down to the very bottom, and then you can be able to find him and fight him. And you cannot mine the uh, the tower at all. You have to mine the, the iron around everything to be able to get through, which is not the best, but it's how it is. And these iron gates, they don't take too much to get rid of. That was two hits from this pickaxe. And it does give you scrap iron, so it might be a pretty good way to get some scrap iron. Probably not the best. The swamps are probably still going to be the best way to get scrap iron. This is the boss here. They're called Zill and Sundu. I think that's how you pronounce it. This boss is a two-in-one boss, so there is there is two of them that you have to kill. And there are he's pretty beefy. It probably be fewer than the other bosses, because I just barely scrimmaged on his health. Well, I got the boss to pretty low health. Oh, he's not dead yet. And now we gotta kill the, the wizard. I wonder if the wizard has a lot more health as well. The wizard does not have any resistances. I just dealt 700 damage to him. He does have a lot of health, but he does not have very much. Oh, I guess I just got like a, a crit. So I got 700 damage. Come on, old man. How about you die? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. Okay, one more, one more on the old, old goblins dead, and here it goes. Ha! You're dead now. Ha! Got him! And this is Hildur's bronze chest. Did we over to get a bronze chest? Well, it's time to give her the final chest and see what all happens. So I can't wait to see what all the stuff magically appeal. There we are. Is that a beanie? Can I wear a beanie? So that looks like we could get a beaded blue tunic. Base item stamina use minus 20%. So wearing this makes it so that your stamina goes down. So you can't, don't wear, use stamina as fast. That's, that's not okay. Well, it's time to see what the beaded blue tunic does. And it just puts a necklace around the normal blue short and takes away the cape. Uh, I feel like that's kind of a little disappointing. DISAPPOINTED! You can also get basic fireworks, sparklers, iron pits, and a barber's kit. And with that you can get a fire iron pit and a barber station. Where you can change out all of the hell. And now you can look just like Jesus too. My Jesus! So the way how you use the fireworks is that you go up to your fire and you press the number on it. And you press the number on it and the firework goes up and explodes. You know, I wonder what happens if you put a whole bunch of fireworks in there all at the same time. Oh, it didn't walk. I was kind of hoping that would walk. I can't just toss it in there. Well, my other experiment is see what happens. It just goes right through the wood. You know, they also changed the snapping. You can change how snapping works by pressing Q and E, which is honestly really nice. So you can be able to build underwater way easier than before. Okay, now what happens if there's a whole bunch of stone above it? Does it still go through it? It, it does. So fireworks can go through any building material. Can conform. Now I think it's time to start a new world to see what all the, the things are. Put in some random numbers. And what? World modifiers. Warning world modifiers, please note that these settings can disrupt your Valheim experience for your first playthrough. Alright. Portals. Por how? Okay. No boss portals. You'll not be able to use portals to exit boss dungeons while a boss is active. No portals at all. There's a new setting. You can now put portal items through the portals. All items go through portals. And that means you can put metal through portals. 
Wow. Okay, you can also change how fast monsters raid your bases. So that's kind of cool. We can change the resource rate. So you get more or less resources from like enemies or whatnot. You can also change your death penalty. Equipped items are dropped, the rest of your intel is lost permanently and skills are reduced faster. So on hard mode, you just lose your entire inventory, but the equipped items are dropped. In hardcore, you lose all carried items and scales permanently, which is ridiculous. And there's also a whole bunch of settings down here, so like there's a no build cost setting, there's a passive enemy, so they won't attack you until you provoke them. Player based raids, which looks like it makes things easier, and a no map setting, which I think is ridiculous. And up here on the top right, there's a... it's called immersive. You have no map and you will not be able to use portals. I think is super ridiculous, which is like super hard to be able to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed me checking out some of the new stuff in the new update for Valheim. If you did, please leave a like and comment down below. It'd be fantastic if you gave me a sub sandwich. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.